what if you have a microsoft word document like this on my desktop and you double click on it to access the file and then the, then the document is requesting a password and let's assume that you've forgotten your password for instance one two three and i type any password that i want and click on ok and then here are the case is telling me i can't access my what my word document what about if i tell you you can equally then what can hack this document of yours and then what uh, bypass and then go ahead and then get access to your document surprise huh stay put i'm going to take you to step by step as to how to do this and then get access to what your document your document content without wasting my time let's get started Armstrong computers we're leading the way bringing ic to your doorstep every day where vision meets excellence we stand okay welcome back now as to get started as you can see on your screen when i click on ok now i can get access to my document because i have forgotten the password that i use to protect my document just stay put now the trick today is pay attention i'm going to show you step by step as to how to do this when you have a document that is protected that you've forgotten the password as you can see on your screen what you must do is that close that document and what i'd like you to do is that go ahead and open another microsoft word okay document like this okay a blank one of course just type something it can be my favorite sentence that you know already which is what the boy The boy is what going to school be my favorite sentence having said that go ahead and save that document also so I'm going to save that on my desktop file click on save us click on browse and go ahead and select that document I'm going to call it uh, the boy is going to school just that click on save and done so you see the trick here is that my first document is being saved with the password that i've forgotten the password the second document is what that i created myself is not saved with the uh, what with the password but look at this trick now having done that go ahead and close this then select that document that you created name the boy is going to school and then right click on it rename it change the file name to uh, to zip the file extension you can see we have dot doc which is dot d o c x change it to what to z i z i p and click on yes so this is it here okay stay put go ahead and double click on that to be open you can see it is open don't be alarmed stay with me go ahead and double click on what we have what word you can see what we have word folder double click on it to be open and the word folder is open now look for something we call settings you can see that we have settings.xml you see that here okay just drag that and drop that on your desktop okay so i just did that close this and you can see this is what we did in our excel sheet so i'll delete that one and this is what i have here and this is my settings okay nice now let's do the same thing to our what our document here that we want to open is requesting for a password that we don't know okay close that and go to that very document that when you double click on it is requesting for a password that you have forgotten i mean you've completed you've completely forgotten what you must do is that right click on it and click on rename also and change the file extension from docx to zip so let's go so it's going to be uh, ZIP. So you see a pop up will display like this. Go ahead and click on yes. And then it is zipped. Okay, just stay with me. Now, what I'd like you to do is that double click on this to be open. And you can see here that is open nicely. Okay, you can see that it is open here. Okay, now this very remember that we created two documents. The first document we created that was protected is known as the GIF DO and the other one is the ball is going to school that is the unprotected so what we are going to do is that now we've opened there was the jib the i'll go ahead and then this is the jib zip folder and come to where we have word double click on the word and i'll look through the word i have some couple of word document here you can see here we have what 
settings this settings okay so what i will do is that i'm going to delete this settings so go ahead and click on delete and click on yes so the setting is deleted now come and pick this very setting that we uh pick it from the boy is going to school and come and drop it in there was the jibdo folder known as what word and click on ok done so the trick here is that any word document that is being protected what i like you to just zip it and when you change the file extension to zipped go ahead and extract that folder look open the microsoft uh, open the word folder in the zip folder and delete the setting and create another word document and then save it do not put that document go ahead and then what change the file extension and zip that to dot zip open look go to the word folder and drag the setting folder come and drop it in the protected folder and you are good to go and that is what i just did having done that i'll go ahead and close this after closing that i'll right click on the jivdo and click on rename and change the file extension to microsoft word document which is going to be d o c x press enter and i'll go ahead and click on yes now when i double click on my my document tana you can see now now it's not requesting for a password so basically that is what uh that is how you can do to then what to then hack any what any microsoft word document that has been protected remember this is just for education purpose Thank you so much for watching and that is just that. Strong computers we're leading the way, bringing ICT to your doorstep every day where vision meets excellence. We stand strong, transforming students where they belong. In the halls of knowledge, we light the spark.